Hi guys, my name is Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video in over a year. I know, I'm sorry about that. Um, to say the least, the last year was crazy. I came back from studying abroad and then I moved into a whole new dorm. You'll hear about that. Uh, and just like, it was my senior year of college, so I was like trying to just really enjoy it and a lot went down. And now I'm finally out of college, I graduated, I'm going back for my master's, but like I have so much time right now. And I just wanted to share with you guys my favorite stories of my college experience. If you haven't already seen the title of this video, I will be sharing with you guys my horror dorm stories. These stories um, happened to me while I was living on campus. I have no shame to say this because everything was resolved, everything, you know, got squared away while they were happening. It was very stressful, but I think it's funny just to like reflect back on them and laugh about them because in the moment I was not laughing. And if you hear jingle bells, it's my kitty cat that I'm babysitting. Come here. Come in more. Here she is. This is my baby. I'm babysitting her. Say hi. Hello. My first story, we're going to go back to my sophomore year. I tried to look for you guys. I was going to do like a story every year, but my freshman year, I didn't have any. But my sophomore year, I have the craziest story and yeah, I just don't, this is like never gonna happen to you. Like also don't be scared, like thinking that this stuff is gonna happen to you. This stuff like just happened to me and I've never heard of it happening again. I just have really bad luck. So my sophomore year, I lived with my friend Catriel and we lived in a double. We were in Mako Hall. If you know Nova, then you know Mako Hall. And we were on the second floor. So. We learned that the first through the third floor has different pipes than the floors above it. I don't know why. They, I think they, it was something about like when they were building the building, they realized that they did something wrong and they needed to do something else to fix it. I'm not sure, but I just know that the pipes are different. So the higher you are up in the building, I think is better because you do not want to be on the first floor because it floods. We were on the second floor and every time it rained, we would get water it would just appear on our couch um it would come out of the ceiling it would come out of the vents um and at first we didn't know where the water was coming from or why it was happening and we didn't associate it to when it was raining and if you live in florida you know that it rains every single day so we were just very confused we're like why do we keep getting water like coming out of our vents like it's coming out of our ceiling like it's coming out of thin air like we just didn't know where this water was coming from so we send a message to rra at the time and i feel so bad looking back at these messages like we were kind of rude to him like he didn't deserve us to be freaking out like this but we were just scared like you know you don't get water coming out of your ceiling so basically i text him and i'm like hey like we have water coming out of our ceiling we don't know why he's like oh that's weird like i'll send an ra over to come check it out the whole time this man never wanted to come see it for himself like ever we would be like, hey, do you wanna like come check it out? It was during COVID, like he didn't have to come into our room to check it out, but he could if he wanted to. And I think he should have like just to see the severity of it. Like if I was an RA, I would go check it out because first of all, your students could be lying to you and exaggerating like over how bad it is. Or two, like, you know, you just like maybe wanna see like what to write for the work order. So we were sending him pictures, right? And he was like, yeah, like, we'll send somebody over. The person comes over, and from the message, I said that they were mean. So apparently they were just, like, a front desk worker. Like, they weren't an RA. So that meant that they didn't have the ability to, like, put in these work orders. Like, they just worked the front desk. So I messaged him back, and I'm like, hey, buddy, like, our ceiling is now leaking a lot. Like, we don't know what's happening. Whatever. So nothing happens. Nobody comes and fixes it. So a month goes by, so that was in August. In September, it comes midterms week, and that means that everybody's studying. My roommate had so many exams this week. I had a few, but I didn't have as many as her. Um, but I just remember it being a very crazy time. So during midterms week, 
the vent above our fridge starts pouring down water. Like it looked like it was a shower. I have videos, I'll insert it, but like this was like the bare minimum. Like I kid you not, we would walk out into our kitchen and it would look like a shower was happening in our kitchen. The water was coming out of it. It was going all over our fridge, all over the floor. And then the little dots that were on our ceiling that would drip the water started to expand. They started to expand so much that the water filled the ceiling and it had this giant bubble that we could push up with our hands, like the water in the ceiling. I was like, oh my God, this is gonna burst any second and we're not, the ceiling's gonna come through. Like we're literally gonna have the ceiling come through. So we are texting our RA. We're like, hey man, like we really don't deserve this right now to be like dealing with this during midterms. Like somebody needs to come out. We put in an emergency work order and nobody came until the next day. Like our freaking ceiling was about to bust. So nobody came. Finally, we got an email from the housing people being like, we're gonna move you guys into a different dorm. Where do you wanna move? They let us pick our dorm. They were very nice about all that. It was just very stressful during midterms week to have to move. And my roommate had exams. So I had to move the whole apartment because she literally couldn't. Like, I, it's not her fault at all. I would be the same way. It was just so stressful. So we had our friend help us, thank God. And he was like helping us like move the fridge and everything. It was just so crazy. And thinking back on it, I'm like, I cannot believe that happened. And then eventually that bubble burst. So that bubble, I don't have a picture of it, but it freaking flew open and you could literally like see the ceiling. So the people came in and they like, you know, painted the wall. Um, and then it would just keep bursting. So the first time they came in to fix it, all they did was put paint over the water. Okay. So if you put paint over water, first of all, it's gonna dry, it's gonna get molded. Second, that's not gonna fix the problem of the water coming through the ceiling. So you see where I'm going? So eventually they're kind of just like, okay, we need to like get you guys out of the room so we can actually like cut through the ceiling and like fix the whole ceiling. So they moved us and that's, that's the story of how my ceiling caved in. So my second story for you guys is the story of how I got followed home from work to my dorm when I was a junior in college. And I'm more so sharing the story so that you guys are more aware of like when this is happening to you. I feel like this really changed the way that like I look out now for myself. Um, so yeah, it was a very scary experience, but I wanna share it with you guys because I feel like if I tell you guys, then you're gonna be more aware. So what happened was I was working at this place my junior year and there was like a door dasher that came in. And mind you, I was just working. Like I did not hand the door dasher his like meal or like anything like that. I literally didn't even say hi to the man. My coworker was on the register and she was the one dealing with it at the time. So it goes on, it's like 9.30 at night. We leave at 11. So I clock out at 11. I walk out with my two other coworkers, a girl and a boy. And then I go to my car and I'm sitting in my car and I see there's a car like adjacent from mine that has its lights on and it's just sitting there. And I'm like, that's weird. Like it's 11 o'clock at night. Everything's closed in this plaza. Why are they here? So I leave. As I'm driving home, it's raining just like a little bit. And I see there's a car behind me without their lights on in the rain. And I'm like, oh, like that's so stupid that they don't have their lights on in the rain. I didn't think for a second that this man was following me. So I'm driving my little car and it's raining. The car doesn't have their lights on behind me. And then I get to my dorm and every single night the security gate is closed. So you have to like scan in. You can't get in if you don't have the card. The one night the gate is open. It was freaking open. So I... I go through the gate and I'm like, whoa, this is so great. Like the gate's open. I don't have to get my card out. Like I was happy that there wasn't security. Come on. So then I park my car and I'm sitting in the parking lot for like 10 minutes, just like scrolling on my phone. You know what you do when you get off work, you go on your phone. I finally get out of my car and I see the same car that followed me home is in the parking lot and he drives up, he rolls his window down and it's the fucking door dasher. It's the freaking door dasher. And I'm like, oh my God, no way. So he's like, 
come here, like screaming at me. I'm like, no. Luckily, at the time, I had a knife. I grab my knife, I show it to him. I'm like, you don't wanna mess with me my knife? I run, I run so fast into the door. And at that point, I was like, okay, like, should I call campus security? Should I call the police? Um, what I ended up doing was neither of those, which probably wasn't the best in hindsight, but I was just so scared. I was just happy to be like, be in the building. And I knew I was safe in the building. I just like, didn't know if that man was gonna like, follow me again home from work. I don't know why he followed me home and waited two hours for me after work. Like that was the weirdest part. I still can't comprehend that. Like why would you wait for me to leave um, and wait two hours? Like did you go deliver the DoorDash and then come back? Like I don't understand. I never talked to the man. Like if there was something wrong with the order, you would just like call DoorDash. I don't know. So yeah, that was the story of how I got followed home from work. Super fun. Um, the third and last story I have for you guys is the grossest one. Um, it's the reason why I was so depressed for a little bit last year. So when I came home from studying abroad, I had to live in this older dorm. I think it's like the oldest dorms on campus if I'm not wrong. It's Rolling Hills if you're familiar with Nova. And I had a single like studio, which I was happy about. I had the option to live in Mako, but I didn't want to because I didn't want a roommate. And everybody that lives in Mako is a sophomore, like 19 year olds. And I'm not living with a 19 year old when I'm 21. So my only option was to move to this off campus, but on campus housing called Rolling Hills, which is, it was an old hotel that they transferred into dorms. So. I heard good things about Rolling Hills. People were like, oh, the pool is so beautiful. It's so nice. You're going to love it. Um, the rooms are spacious. You know, you get to have your own space, which which is all I wanted. I just wanted to live alone. I didn't want a roommate. Um, that was my only option. If I wanted to live alone, I had to live there. Also, an important factor to all this, please don't comment down below being like, oh, I can't believe that you're complaining about living on campus. I had to live on campus all four years. That was my scholarship. I was part of the Razor's Edge Leadership Scholarship. So I had to live on campus. I didn't have a choice. So if I didn't want to live on campus, then I would have to lose my scholarship, which was not happening because Nova is expensive. So that's why, you know, that's why I also can complain about these things because like I was kind of forced to live there. So I moved into my dorm and it was like fine. It wasn't Mako Hall. Like Mako Hall is a newly built dorm. Like I knew going into this that it was gonna be a little, you know, run down. I was fine with that. I just wanted to live alone. I went into this with a very open mind. Okay. So my first night that I'm there, I'm sleeping and I see a cockroach crawl across my floor. And I'm like, okay, like that's fine. It's Florida. I see though that it's coming from the wall. So if you look at my wall, there's a gap, like, you know, from the floorboard to the ceiling, like to the floor, there's a gap. And I'm like, okay, like that's where the bugs are coming from. I can literally see the cockroaches are coming in and out. But I'm like, whatever, maybe it's just this one. So I kill it, you know, end of the day, move on. I wake up in the morning and I'm like making my breakfast. I see three cockroaches just like running around, you know, doing their little thing. I'm like, this is gross. I do not like bugs. Like they freak me out. They make me feel very gross. Um, and I see three of them. I just keep killing them. Cause I'm like, okay, like I live by myself. I can't cry about this. You know, you can't call an RA for a bug, but I'm seeing that they're coming from the wall. So I email the university and I'm like, Hey, I have cockroaches. I know where they're coming from. They're coming from the walls because there's a freaking like centimeter gap from where the floor should be and end. They email me back and like they just like couldn't care at all. Like they really didn't think it was a problem. For a while they like left me on red. I had to email them. Like it took a week for them finally to email me back and be like, oh like is your room clean? They literally had the audacity to ask me if my room was clean. Like, oh, like, make sure you're taking out trash, make sure you're doing all this stuff. I was like, no, that'd be fine if like, you know, they thought I was a dirty person, but I'm not, I'm a very clean girl. Like it wasn't from me. They finally decide to come and they put little traps. They don't seal my walls. I asked them, I said, hey, can somebody come in and seal my walls? Like go around and, you know, cause I was putting like tape on this. Like it was really, it was really not cute. 
Um, so they come, they put the traps out. The traps start collecting bugs. I'm gonna insert pictures here and you guys are gonna be like, I cannot believe you lived like this. And if you lived like this, you would be reacting the same way. Yeah, so those are the pictures of the bugs that came in my room. That was from like two days, two days. Yeah, so that was from two, two days of putting the traps out. That wasn't even like a day. So she doesn't like to be held. Maybe she'll sit here. Are you okay? <laughs> So yeah, so then I send them the pictures. I'm finally like, this is disgusting. Somebody needs to come and seal my walls because that's where the bugs are coming from. I know it, like I can see them and these traps are obviously not working. All they're doing is just accumulating more bugs. Um, so they just keep replacing these traps. Finally, I'm about to go, I'm about to go in person to the housing office because it was on campus. As I'm walking there, they send me an email and they're like, hey, like we're putting somebody in your room to come and seal the walls. After they sealed the walls, I would get like a few bugs, but I think it was more from like the drains. Um, you know, it was like those little drain bugs. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but those drain bugs, I would get them and it was really gross. Another horror story I have from Rolling Hills is that my AC would break every single day in the summer when it was 100 degrees outside and Nova could give a shit less. They were like, that sucks. <laughs> like, they gave me a fan. They gave me a box fan. I was in a summer RA, so I know what the rules are. The rules are that if your AC breaks in Florida, it is a state of emergency, not a state of emergency. It's an emergency, it's an emergency work order if your AC breaks. So that means that you have to be moved to a different room. They did not offer that to me. What they did do is that they came in and put a box fan in my room. A box fan? You're gonna put a box fan in my room when the AC is not working? Finally, the AC decided to fix itself, but I kid you not, it was so annoying. It would turn on for 10 minutes, and then it would turn off, and then it would turn on. So every single time that the AC man would come, it would be working. So he wouldn't think that it would be a problem, but then I would come home from work and my room would be so hot and the AC wouldn't work. So that was like the really big problem because nobody believed me for a long time. Finally, they came and they fixed it, but I was like, I didn't have AC for like two months in the summer. And I just remember like going to sleep at night and literally just wanting to die. Like there is nothing worse. Like I would rather have the cockroaches than have the no AC. Like on God. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun for you to like sit and talk about it and I'm laughing about it all now. I have no hard feelings like towards anything that happened or anybody that was put in these situations and I do, I can admit that like I was maybe a little aggressive but like I feel like I have a right to be aggressive a little bit. Um, I wasn't like mean to anybody ever but I was kind of just like pushing them like come on guys like this shouldn't be happening like let's fix it. So yeah. Um, Anyways, I'm really excited to make more videos for you guys. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I have plans to like make videos on like my college experience, like different stories like that. More tips and tricks for you guys. So let me know, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.